everyone and welcome back. I'm Melody from Bake a Leg and Let's Dig It. And today I'm going to do the Wide Family Farm uh, Comfort Food Challenge 2021. And for me, I think comfort food is a lot of different things, but I am going to do chili. I make so many different um, chilies. It's just unreal. So I picked up this 80% lean, 20% fat, 1940 ground meat. I'm probably only going to use half of this because I have another recipe. And I also had to run downstairs to my stash to get a few things that I preserved and go in my non-working pantry for a couple other things because I think I'm going to switch this one up. So let me put you right here for a second. I'm just in my comfy clothes because I had to fix blow-ups outside. So let's go with this. I have great northern beans. I decided to do this. Sorry about that. I decided to do this, and I didn't have time to soak beans. Uh, red kidney beans. These are the big cans. These are like 40.5 ounces, 2 pounds of beans. I also am going to use two of the smaller cans of Dakota's black beans right there. Let's see. I have some cowboy candy that I preserved, some chili powder. I also have diced tomatoes and a jar of my homemade goodness right there, grown right out of the garden. And I may or may not add in some red enchilada sauce that is mild. Right there, we'll see. What else is the ingredients? We're gonna need onions, and I have a lot, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. If you paid attention to my growing season, I have a lot of peppers, preserved, frozen, things of that nature. So I'm going to be using two onions. Let's set that there. And I like garlic in mine, so let me get that out. I have fresh garlic, but I also like to use... Anybody else ever use this? It's the fresh uh, peeled garlic. So, yeah. I would like to kind of do like a chili corn corny, but I don't think so. This is what the problem is going to be right here, my friends. That's one of three freezers. Well, two freezer boxes. This is the smaller one that's mine. I have to move all that to get in there. I've not done a freezer tour yet, but I have to get move that stuff in order to get in there and get... Wait, maybe not. I think I still have some fresh peppers from out of my garden that we can use up. Yes, I do. So let's go with a whole bowl of fresh peppers. I'm not going to use the whole bowl, but I figured it'd save me some time with chopping, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I think I may have all the ingredients. And like I said, I'm doing it in my KitchenAid. Well, sorry, not my KitchenAid. <laughs> my Ninja uh, all-in-one, and it has the air fryer to it. So I am going to start off by cutting open the meat. So let's go with turning it on. We are going to go with a sear saute and say big roast boil. Sear saute and because I want the water to dry because I had rinsed this out from air frying. So and this other part of the ground meat I'm going to put in a Ziploc baggie and freeze it. So I think that's quite a bit right there for chili. I have a famous saying, when in doubt, oops, sorry, you weren't even looking. When in doubt, beef it out. So I'm going to use half of that, and then the other half I'm going to put in a Ziploc baggie. And get that in the freezer while I'm thinking of it for the next recipe. So, yeah. I am going to start by putting the ground meat in first. And then, I'm going to put my other, so I didn't like 
thoroughly, thoroughly wash my hands down. Because I'm going to put this one, which is for our whole recipe, and I'm going to put it in a Ziploc baggie. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in all at once. Bingo. Okay, let me dispose of this. And wash my hands. I am in comfy clothes because I was outside for some blow up because we had a fear rainstorm here and it blew my blow ups practically down the street. Literally. So I had to fix that. Okay. So that's on. We're going to need a good wooden spoon. And we're basically just going to start helping this along, chopping this up. I figure this would be an ideal day to make chili because I have a gazillion things to do. And it is definitely a comfort food. So, I have the ground meat going. I can speed that process up if I was to put it on the fast cook. But for now... While I get certain ingredients together, I am just going to let it start searing and sauteing. Okay, I need to cut my onions up and my green peppers. So let me get started with that, I think, first. Where's my other one at? Oh, it's being occupied. Okay. So that's the ground meat. Now I'm going to bring you over here to the island. And I'm going to start cutting up onions and peppers. So let me put you like that. I'm going to get my good knife. This is one of many good knives. you can hear, it's starting to sear the meat. So I'm just ziplocking this meat up first. So don't forget to put it in the freezer. Let's see, I had a lot of the peppers right here, but I think I put all my diced ones in the freezer boxes. Let me just double check real quick. That's how I did that. Okay. I will just have to chop now, won't I? Okay. I'm using two onions. You can use, ooh, you can use like a large or a medium onion. Peel this bad boy into the sink. Hopefully it doesn't make me cry. Not in the mood to cry today, my friends. I love Courtney. And I haven't really been able to do a lot of collaborations with people because the kitchen wasn't done. It still isn't done, but it's kind of set up to at least where I can cook and bake a little bit. So, I think I'm going to use my chopper. I may need another one because I think my roommate dropped it. But you know what? By the time I fiddle with that, I can just cut it. I don't want a teeny tiny slices, the chunks. Yes, this is going to be a hot onion. I can feel it already on the eyes, my friends. I 
cut my onions a lot of different ways. Ooh. Okay. Onion. Let me check the ground meat. Ooh, my goodness, that was spicy. Spicy hot onion. Good. So what I think I'm gonna do is just put all my onions in here. I have one more onion to cut up, but it's a smaller one. And my eyes are watering over here. I said I didn't want to have to cry court, but it is what it is. You ever notice like homegrown onions are like so much more potent? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get this one peeled at the sink. And let's keep going. I like it chunky, so. Nothing like a good, chunky, stick-to-your-ribs kind of chili. Like I said, I make so many different variations of chili. Okay, onions are done. I'm trying to get this cooking. I can see how much fat's going to be in here, whether I want to drain some of it off or leave it. Okay, now we're going to go on to probably peppers. Let's see, we'll do some red, green. I'm trying to use up the very last stick that I plucked out of another spot of the garden. And let's go with one of these as well. Hopefully you're seeing all this. And I'm going to dispose of the seeds out of this, out of the peppers as possible and the pith that's in the middle of it so it really was great for Thanksgiving because I had a lot of extra produce come out of the garden that I didn't get to I wanted to have some fresh and I processed a lot and I froze a lot of peppers very good Pepper season, tomato season, just unbelievable. So, glad to have fresh peppers, homegrown right out of the garden. As you saw, I already washed these. This is a chocolate beauty. Or something. Just a rough chop. Nothing major. None of this has to be precise. But I like a lot of pepper, so I'm going to continue to chop my peppers so I don't bore you to death and I'll bring you right back. Okay, the only thing that you missed is I started to drain off a little bit of the liquid. That was coming out of, you know, the grease coming out of the ground meat because I didn't want all that. And I also diced up the habanero and some banana peppers that I still have in a bowl fresh in my fridge. Mm. 
taking a sip of my drink. But my bowl is a little small for all those peppers. And now I'm going to start cutting up some garlic. And finish this up. So yeah, so my bowl is a little bit tiny. The onions and the peppers. another big pepper I think I'm going to because look at how beautiful this pepper is this was picked November or December and all I did was just clean them and put them in the fridge so I could have some fresh peppers over the holidays Thanksgiving to be exact I'm still going to have some left in the bowl So I think I wanted to do this other pepper very quickly. Sorry if my video ends up being a little bit longer than everybody else, but at least I'm doing the comfy food challenge. And I find chili to be very comfy. Cold day. And like I said, there's so many different variations to chili. I make so many different ones. So this is going to be my regular chili, probably with a twist. Like, I don't usually use enchilada sauce, but I figured I might try it. At least a little bit. See how it tastes. And I'm not sure if I want to open up cowboy candy or use um, a couple jalapenos that I have in my fridge. Just... I'm going to take the seeds out. Okay, that's the peppers. That's just, I like things to be equal amounts. Okay. Let me give this a stir. Like I said, I drained some of it off. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with my peppers, onions, all that good stuff while I chop my garlic. So equal amounts of ground beef to onions to green pepper. Give it all a good mix. Mix it all in there, and then you can usually tell if you're short of pepper or whatever. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the garlic. I'm gonna buy the garlic this way. I like to give it a rinse. Now this garlic smells really strong. I like to take the ends off because I don't like that. I do appreciate having this island in here now so I could try to do more recipes. So right now I'm just chopping the garlic I don't know if there was a specific timeline for the recipes or how long her challenge is but I figured I would join it hopefully I'm not late I'm sure lots of people will be doing chili. Garlic's going in. That's about five cloves. We're gonna give this a mix in. And then, let me show you this. I might have to raise you up, we'll see. Everything but the oregano, ground ginger, pumpkin spice spice, the yellow mustard seed, and the vanilla. Pretty much, you see that all came out of my garden. So, 
I am going to grab, let me put you this way. I am going to grab my seasonings next. So I have some homegrown dehydrated scallions. We're going in. Dehydrated garlic powder, about two tablespoons going in, even though there's fresh in there. Dehydrated fresh onion powder, same thing, two tablespoons. And let me see. Let me see where you go. I am going to use some homegrown oregano that I dehydrated. I like to keep all my herbs um, in these mason jars. I turned this into a spice rack, um, but I've been using these half pints for quite some time. So. Let me say, oregano going in. That's my hand. Let me sure I don't forget anything. You go in there, salt and pepper. Let's see. ground black pepper. That's going in. And then we're going to give it a stir. And I'll show you what it's looking like. Let me bring you over here. I'm going to take my hand off from that right now. Say. There it is. Just gonna give this a stir. Mix in all the dehydrated herbs. You can add a little turmeric in this if you're incorporating that into your diet. Obviously, it's just gonna turn the color a little bit, but. It's just good for you overall. So I might go in with a little bit of that. And my goodness gracious, I almost forgot. Okay. My dog can make me barking because the mailman's like on his way. They freak out every day. Just a little bit of this house maple. Smokehouse maple, I should say. And then, yikes. My goodness gracious. We need your cumin still. I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric. About a teaspoon. Human, I know I put in a jar, but I may have to open up my new one. Oh no, okay. Human going in. That's two tablespoons of cumin. I'm gonna give this a stir. Maybe anyway, it's starting to smell like a cross between. Um, fajitas. And it's looking good. So at this point, the meat is just about cooked. It is cooked, I should say. So you can 
taste it to adjust it if you need to. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have some chili powder left over in a container. Going in. And I know this might be weird for everybody, but I'm going in with about a teaspoon sugar. I have an extremely hot chili powder. But listen, you want to be able to enjoy it. You don't want to be dying to death from the heat. So, color is looking fantastic. Hopefully, I'm not steaming you out. Give this another quick taste for seasoning. use A1 steak sauce in my chili. About a one-fourth a cup. Some Worcestershire. A little less. That's about two tablespoons. And mix it in. I like it to taste beefy. really done. But it needs some more A1 sauce. And I will probably rinse my A1 bottle. If you know, you know A1 is a little costly. Just like so. You know, this may be weird to everybody else, but I always do two good squirts of ketchup in mine. And I think I'm going to omit the jalapenos this time. So, two good doses of ketchup, my friends. One, two. Mix it all in. Break the sides. Yes, I taste test as I go along. Comes from being in the biz for so long. Wow. That is absolutely delicious. Just like that. Now, I'm going to go in. Two splashes. I don't, like I said, I don't want it too hot. That's four splashes. Look at how great that sauce looks. Absolutely amazing. And now I'm going to have to Double check, because then we're going to move on to the next step. The beans. Mmm. It's really, really good. Okay, I use that. One with that. Okay, I use the dark red kidney beans. 
I don't like that goo that's on it, so I always strain them. So let me get out. Strainer doesn't have like my dishwasher. And I have to open it. I cannot explain to you how good that is, and I might not even add the enchilada sauce to it this time. And then you can use whatever you want. You can put cheese in the bowl separately, avocado, um, sour cream, whatever your little heart's desire. But this is a very comforting food to me. So let me drain the beans. I just don't like that stuff that's on the beans. Probably the most tedious thing about this is opening up all the cans of beans. We're going in with the red kidney beans. Okay. We're going to give that a stir. Mix all this yumminess together. I think just because it's easier, I'm going to go and do my black beans next. Same thing, I'm going to drain them and they're going to go in. So I want to see if I want two cans or one. Nice bone, really, really good. So the water runs clear. And in they go. You like corn you could put corn in this but this is chili look at how full this pot is getting <laughs> this could be quite a few days of leftovers considering i have a lot to do um and then i had a big can of northern white beans I do have an electric can opener, but didn't want to boost your ears. So let me get this one open and I'll drain it and bring it right back. Okay, I drained them and we're going to dump them in just like so. This is a very, very hearty, thick and rich chili. Stick to your ribs. Yummy goodness. But this is my recipe right here. This is the one that I usually always do. Now, because this is an Instapot, you can literally just blast this for 10 minutes and it'll be done. I want to do my homemade uh, tomatoes. I do like tomatoes in mine, so let me pop that jar. Okay, I didn't want to spill it everywhere, so I put it in this bowl because, like I said, I like to check the consistency so that everything is equal amounts. Get it mixed in, and I think we're pretty good. Sometimes I'll do jalapenos, sometimes I don't. But like I said, you can add sour cream into your bowl when this is done. You can do avocado, sharp cheddar cheese I usually do. So let's give this a quickie little taste, make sure I have the right spoon, and let's try it. Mmm, so good, so good. Now, one thing that I'm noticing, definitely tastes like chili. I don't think it's extremely spicy. So, I may or may not do more either hot sauce or Jalapeno. Let me set my recyclables over here. 
Let's see what happens falling. I don't know. Because I don't want to make it too overly spicy. But that is pretty much it. I may add, let's see if I can find my little door popper that I just put back. That might be another one. Okay, I got a new little, new little popper. Bring it over here. I have a new little popper for my jars. See, it kind of looks like that, but it still gives me some trouble popping it unless I'm just not doing it right. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Okay. This is my real sticky cowboy candy, as you can see. Oh man, they're so good. Okay, I'm going to do about, I don't want to go crazy. I think I'm going to do about that much, chop it. And this recipe, my friends, is done. Let me give this a quick chop. Like I was able to eat that. I could feel a little heat, but it's not torturous. it. I'll put you back here again so you gotta keep moving you. Yeah. Adjust you. Now I'm gonna mix in these the cowboy candy. I like mine to have just a little broth and this is like perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You know when you have an instant pot it's so much faster. So I don't know. Do you need to see it dished out? Let's see. And we'll dish you out so you can see the consistency of this chili. And there you go, my friends. That is how I do my comfort food, and that would be chili. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, this is Courtney's from Wide Family Farm. Uh, comfy food. I'm going to rinse the 2021. I will put hopefully the right title in the video. I will tag Courtney's channel in there. And I am Melody from Bake Alike and Let's Dig It. And honest to goodness, this is my comfort food. It literally just is. Mmm. It's delish. I'll leave the ingredients down below in the description. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I'm going to get this done and upload it. So I can tag Court in it. And I'm so happy to actually been able to do a collaboration considering I moved here and, you know, things weren't done. So getting there slowly but surely. But there it is. I love you all. And um, I hope you enjoy the recipe. Super duper easy. The only thing that sometimes I may do different on my other version is just add a little bit of red enchilada sauce. But literally, I'm not doing that this time because it tastes perfect the way that it is. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to Courtney from Wide Family Farm for coming up with this collaboration. And I will see you all on the next video. Like, subscribe, and share. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.